Now Pacey in the ring, ready to go. Now their opponent making their entrance inside the whoa, whoa, whoa! This superstar could not wait for the bell to get their hands on their opponent. This thing is personal. So much bad blood between these two. A uh, superstar who was attacked is a, starting with a big disadvantage here. Obviously, that competitor could not hold back their emotions any longer. After a shotgun attack from the top, elbow drop. Going way up high. Taking flight. Elbow drop. Piercing. Consecutive high-risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Launching. All the way. What impact. We are seeing a ridiculous amount of risky moves. We'll see if it pays off. Oh, that can squash you. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. From the top, look out below! And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. From the top, through the air. Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. Bianca Belair, such a dominant and athletic superstar, considered the EST of WWE for many reasons, which I... The EST looking to secure the win. KOD! Belair displaying power. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Thrown back in under the ropes. All the way up. Still up. Squatting too, my gosh. Stalling suplex. Caden Carter looking helpless to every attack. Bianca's at full throttle. Ah, uh, had that well scouted. Oh, the swift takedown. She started into the cover. Uh. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Bianca Belair. The unexpected attack earlier played in their favor, allowing them to lock up the win tonight. And I'm wondering if that attack earlier is going to have a lingering effect beyond just this match. That's entirely possible. Lasting damage might have been incurred there.